Hi everyone, today we are talking about microneedling. We're also gonna discuss the newest device on the market, which is called Elacore. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the video to give back to you guys as a thank you for following me along my journey and also in celebration of Christmas. So starting off with microneedling, what is it? I've touched on microneedling in my previous videos, so I will link those down below. But essentially what microneedling is, is a pen device, either battery operated or on a cord that has tiny, thin little needles that oscillate at around 7,000 to 9,000 RPM uh, up and down. And as the needles are on the tip of this pen, the tip, the pen gets um, moved around the skin, whether it's horizontally, vertically, in circles, it doesn't really matter. So as you can imagine, the skin gets thousands, if not millions of tiny little puncture wounds all throughout. And the end point of this treatment is not big time bleeding like you can see on social media, but pinpoint bleeding, which looks exactly like it sounds. It's essentially teeny tiny little dots, red dots, of places where the blood is just maybe trying to bleed, but it, the wound isn't sufficient enough to actually make it ooze. So that is the end point. What is the purpose of this treatment? The success rates for this in treatment of acne scars is really, really significant. Because the microtrauma and the teeny tiny holes in the skin damage the skin, they break up scar tissue and they loosen scar tissue and, and the, the microtrauma from the micro needling pen induces a healing response where the collagen rebuilds in a healthy structured way, whereas a scar is haphazard random fibrosis or scar formation that isn't a structured deposit of collagen. So it can restructure that collagen and really smooth out um, scarring. It's also great for texture. And because this uh, builds collagen and elastin, it helps a little bit with tightening. It'll help with lines and wrinkles. So that is the purpose of a microneedling treatment. It's often also a great choice for individuals who can't afford a laser treatment. So I always also call microneedling a poor man's laser. So and that is microneedling in a nutshell. If you're looking to get a microneedling treatment and you're wondering which pens are the best out there, I would say Skin Pen has the best reputation. Everything about it and its components and everything it comes with is FDA cleared. Um, it's also the most expensive, I think it's the most expensive device on the market. Another really, really great one, which was just bought by Skin Pen, is called Micro Pen. It used to be called the Evo Pen, and it looks like this. This is also a great pen, and the distinguishing feature of both of these is that they're not spring-operated, and because they're not spring-operated, what that essentially translates into is the needle when it comes out and when it goes back in, it's very controlled, whereas a spring can shoot the needle up and you may not be as precise in the depth of your setting and also in the consistency of the needles uh, oscillating at exactly the same frequency and the same depth of skin. So those are non-spring operated uh, microneedling pens. There are a lot of good pens on the market. These I would say are just the top tier, the uh, Lamborghini equivalents of skin pen or of uh, microneedling. Um, so most other microneedling pens are spring operated. That makes them less expensive to produce and less expensive to purchase. These are all professional pens, so you would not purchase this yourself. But when you're going to your provider and you're interested in getting a microneedling treatment, you can inquire what kind of pen they have and that tells you a little bit about do they have the best pen or you know how good is the pen that they use in the office. One thing I have mentioned in my previous videos, which is just so important that it belongs in every conversation about microneedling is I do not recommend that you perform microneedling at home, especially with the derma roller. And the reason for that is if you imagine the, the pen is placed on the skin 
and the needles go straight in, straight out, straight in, straight out. When you have a roller, imagine a drum with the needle. As the roller moves forward, the needle rolls around. So if this is the skin surface and you've got the needle, which is, imagine my finger, on a roller, it goes in this way. And then as the needle rolls, now it's shearing the skin. It's still shearing the skin before it comes out. So it does this motion underneath the skin, which is not what you want. That's tearing collagen and that's tearing the tissue. It's micro tears, whereas this is precise uh, motion up and down. That's the way lasers work. It's the way microneedling works. It's the way all the uh, resurfacing devices work. They want a controlled direction of microtrauma, which is from the skin surface straight down and back up again. Let's briefly talk about Elacor. It is the newest, uh, most hyped up device for microneedling. It's, it's actually 10 steps beyond microneedling. It's actually called microcoring. And if you've ever had a needle biopsy or you know what a core biopsy looks like, it's exactly that. And if you don't know what a core biopsy is, imagine a big needle that's hollow inside. And that hollow space inside is where a piece of tissue gets cut out of the skin and sucked up into that needle. And then if it's a biopsy, that tissue gets removed and sent to the lab. And in the case of Elacor, uh, tiny little fragments of skin are pulled out with the Elacor and sucked out. The idea is if you remove little tiny microscopic bits of skin, uh, you'll get tightening. Okay, I had to suddenly step away from the camera, so uh, a little Christmas decorating has happened in the meantime. Anyways, I am back and we were discussing Elacor. Now that we've covered the different types of needling devices that can either puncture the skin or puncture the skin and cut out a fragment of tissue and pull it out, let's talk about post-procedural skin care. I posted on Instagram what I looked like after a microneedling treatment, and I'll put that in here just to give you an idea. But after the treatment, it, you look a little bit scary. Uh, the skin looks very red, so similar to a pretty bad sunburn. And there may be little areas of scabbing, pinpoint bleeding, a little bit of redness. If you choose to, that would be the time to ask um, your provider to apply exosomes. And they speed up the healing process. I do have a video talking extensively about exosomes. So if you're interested, I will link that down below. And that always comes as an extra charge. Uh, if you choose not to do exosomes, my favorite thing to apply after a microneedling treatment is always the Elastin Skin Nectar. This acts as an occlusive. It is also extremely soothing and it does help speed recovery. The recovery may not be quite as fast as it would be with exosomes, but it is significantly faster than if you use anything else or if you use Vaseline, for example. So this really, the peptide complex in here is designed to heal injured skin and it really does make a difference. So if you're just keeping it simple, you would apply this after the treatment and reapply throughout the day as the skin feels dry. And because there are so many holes in the skin, water will evaporate from the skin through a process called transepidermal water loss and you will feel very, very dry. So this can be reapplied as often as you like. If you feel it's not enough, you could put a layer of Vaseline on top, but this, I find this is enough. In terms of cleansers, you wanna use a pH neutral gentle cleanser. So from Zio, my favorites would be the hydrating cleanser and the gentle cleanser from Skin Better Science. The cleansing gel is a gentle cleanser. You would not want to use the oxygen infusion wash because that has uh, alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids in it. So 
this would be the skincare, that would be the cleanser. In terms of sunscreen, I do change up the sunscreen right after microneedling. And the reason for that is you don't wanna be pulling and tugging on this freshly wounded skin. So I opt for sunscreens that are very slick and slippery and easy to apply or that I can pat on. So my, one of my favorite choices would be the Elastin Silk Shield. And this also has the peptides that help healing just like the nectar so this is a great choice for sunscreen and another one that I like is the skin better science compact because you can use the compact and it's just gentle pressure and you're not pulling and pushing and tugging you, you would just pat that on so that's a good one uh, I would avoid my favorite uh, lotion because these are sticky lotions and there's just a little bit too much friction I feel with these and also with the stick that I've always used. The Color Science uh, Sun Shields, the uh, Face Shields, they're good because they're very fluidy, they're very liquidy and easy to distribute. So I think these are great. And um, that's about it for sunscreen. This skincare routine, I would continue using until the skin feels like it's healing. And you know when it's less sensitive, it's less red. On day two, the skin will be pink, not as fiery red as it was on the day of the treatment. It's a lot more calm, but you still don't look like your normal, usual self. And then day three, day four, the skin returns more to, to its normal color and you start to notice that the surface of the skin feels a little textured. It feels a little sandpaper-like. And once it, you've got that good coat of sandpaper and you see that sandpaper sloughing off, you can then gently help it with a very, very light and gentle exfoliation or you can just wait and let it fall and slough off on its own. And that really depends on how sensitive your skin is. And I would recommend using all of the same products until your skin is healed, which takes about a week to completely heal. And then you can return and resume your uh, usual skincare routine, including actives. So just to quickly show you uh, my skin on the third day after the treatment, it essentially did return back to normal. And today is day five after my treatment. And I actually purposefully did not put sunscreen on right now. And so you can see what my skin looks like, hopefully, um, without foundation, without sunscreen. I, I just wanted to show you guys. So that is the walkthrough of a microneedling treatment. So if it's something you've been thinking about doing or you've been wondering exactly what it's about and whether it's for you, I hope you found some answers in this video. And now let's move on to something more exciting, which is the giveaway. So as a thank you, uh, because I appreciate you guys so much for following me on my journey, for uh, subscribing and becoming part of this little skin and nerd community, I wanna give back and I do one-on-one -on -one consultations, virtual consultations for uh, all kinds of purposes. One is to help people design their own skincare routine that is specifically tailored towards their skin needs, or just general conversations for individuals who are thinking of going into uh, get an off in office treatment, but they're not sure what treatment to get or which laser device is better than another or more suitable to their needs. And so I will tell you about all the treatments out there and which ones I think are most effective or maybe best for you. So it's a one-on-one -on -one, uh, half hour call and I'm giving one of, one of you guys a call with me and you can use it yourself or you can gift it to someone else if you think this would be a good uh, Christmas gift for a loved one. Um, they are transferable. So the way to enter the giveaway is to leave me a Christmas tree emoji down below 
in the comments. And if you'd like a second entry, follow me on Instagram. Uh, you will find a post with the giveaway and leave a comment there and tag a friend. And so that way you will have two entries, one on YouTube and one on Instagram. So good luck, you guys. I'm really looking forward to chatting with the winner. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.